Hello guys, it's Ademola from SPSSBoss.com. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to run histogram in SPSS. They are one of the most commonly used visuals to check if your data is normally distributed. And it is a graphical display of your distribution. The information in the histogram is exactly the same as what you will have in the frequency table. But the histogram is much easier to interpret when it comes to the distribution of data in SPSS. Now there are two ways to get histogram in SPSS. The first one, you go to graph, legacy dialog and histogram. That's the quickest way to get the histogram. You can select the weights of the participants. We want to look at the distribution of weights for all the participants. And if we were interested in looking for the normal distribution, we select the display normal curve. But we're going to go into more details about this in the next lecture. We're just interested in running the histogram in SPSS right now. We're not interested in normal curve. Click on OK and you will get a result. Now that's the first result. And as you can see, the peak of our distribution is slightly towards the left. And this we usually call a positive skew because the tail of the distribution is stretched out towards the right. Majority of our participants are between the weights of 60 kilogram and 80 kilogram as you can see here because that's the peak of the histogram and that's the most important thing about histogram it helps you to check the distribution now histograms are also good for checking for outlier which are extreme value that are not clustered around the center of your variable so it may be someone that has a relatively high weight compared to the group or has a very low weight compared to the other participant here you can see there's someone with 120 kilogram it's sticking out here at the end of of the scale and that can be a possible outlier this is one of the other use for histograms as well the second way to run an histogram is to go to graph chart builder click on ok now you drag in you first go to histogram you drag in the histogram of interest is this one we're using at the moment and then you take in your variable of interest which is the weight put it in there and close this window if you want and then click on ok now you'll see the result that's produced here is pretty much the same here. And the histogram also shows you the mean weight, 74.40, which is the average. As you can see earlier, we noticed that the weight with the higher frequency is around that figure of 74.40, which should be the center of the distribution. Because this histogram is not centered, it's very hard for us to say that it is uh, normally distributed. We'll go into what we mean by normal distribution in more details. There's a lot more we can do with an histogram, but this is just an introduction to how to run Instagram in SPSS. Thank you very much for watching this lecture, and I hope to see you at the next lecture.